Now, in this uh, subsection of the course, we are going to examine the issues of profiling and stereotyping. And the reason why these issues are looked at together is because they present one common challenge, one common characteristic. That is that both profiling and stereotyping essentially consist in public authorities or um, private agents basing their decisions on certain generalizations about individuals based on the fact that these individuals present certain group characteristics. So for example, public authorities may at airports screen people of a particular religion um, based on the belief that uh, people from that particular religion are potentially terrorists or maybe they will screen people from one particular uh, ethnicity because they believe that these people from that ethnicity are um, more likely to file a claim to asylum in the country of destination. Or employers may, for example, uh, believe that uh, women, uh, more than men, shall interrupt their careers in order to take care of their, of their family and to, and to have children. And this is a generalization about uh, women's careers that may discourage them from recruiting women in their, in their workforce. Now, what is important to understand is that even if these um, statements about certain ethnic groups um, um, or about women turn out to be right in certain contexts and turn out to be statistically um, indeed um, uh, proven, that would not necessarily, or that would, that would not allow the, the behavior um, that is based on these stereotypes or generalizations, essentially because the individual has a right to be treated as an individual on the basis of his or her individual behavior and not to be treated as simply a, a representative a sample, if you wish, of the group to which he or she belongs. In other terms, what is prohibited is the, the generalization, uh, whether or not there is some statistical foundation uh, to the behavior that would make it um, rational to screen people on the basis of their group membership. And this is what, for example, the um, International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women sought to um, uh, discourage when it very specifically condemns stereotypes um, uh, against women uh, based on the traditional division of gender roles. And, and this is um, one of the issues we will discuss in this uh, subsection of the course.